Popcorn Kit crew. It's Miss V, and I'm here to read with you. Hey, you guys, have you all affirmed that you're the greatest this week? Well, you know what we're getting ready to do now. Are you ready? Let's go. Yes, you are. Let me hear you say it. That's right. You tell yourself that every single day. You say, I am the greatest. And if someone ever has the nerve to tell you otherwise, you tell them, go find Miss V, because Miss V knows that I'm the greatest, because she said so. Ask somebody who loves you and concerned about you Mommy, daddy, auntie, uncle, grandma, grandpa, best friend. Am I the greatest? They're going to say, well, of course you are. You are the greatest. Starting off giving you some sugar wooga already. You know what, you guys? As I always, I don't know, what is my favorite book? This is another favorite book. It's called The Princess and the Pea. And there are so many interpretations of this book. I came across this interpretation. It's retold and illustrated by Rachel Isadora. And this is one of Caldecott Honor. This is a really good book. I want to read the back of this to you just to give you some information about the book. A real princess is hard to find. The prince wants to marry a princess, but finding one is not a simple task. There's no shortage of so-called princesses, but how can he tell whether or not they are what they claim to be? Then one night, a great storm rages. There's a knock on the palace gate, and the prince's life is never the same. Rachel Isadora, exclusively illustrated and retelling of this classic Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale takes readers to a beautiful African setting. A first for the true story of a tiny pea that changed everything. Are you ready to go on this journey, guys? We're going to read about the princess and the pea. Let's go. Can you see? Make sure you see the picture. Don't worry. Hey, everybody. Did you know today was taco? Did I say that yet? It is Taco Tuesday. Welcome, everybody. Okay, come on. Let's go. Once upon a time, there was a prince. Wow. Hey, let me know if you love these illustrations. They are fantastic. The prince wanted to marry a real princess, so he traveled all over the world in hopes of finding such a lady. Look at that. It's beautiful. He met many princesses, but it was difficult to tell whether they were real ones. I can understand that. He wanted a genuine princess to marry, not an imitation. He wanted an original princess. And this is the introduction of some of them. She says, Iskawan, which is greetings or hello. These illustrations are wonderful. Salom. Gorgeous. Look at his eyes. Look. They're all saying hello. This is beautiful. This is a fun story, isn't it? Jamba Habari. They're reaching and extending hands to say hi to each other. 
gorgeous. Hey, you guys, look. She has a fish. Do you see the fish? And the water. And a beautiful kente cloth. This is absolutely beautiful. There was something about each princess that was not quite right. So the prince came home again and was sad. He wants to get married. Don't worry. He's going to be okay. Don't worry. One morning, there was a terrible storm. Suddenly, a knocking was heard at the gate, and the old king went to open it. was a princess standing at the gate but good gracious what a sight the rain and the wind had made her look and yet she said she was a real princess it was so stormy outside it made her appearance look a little challenging you know how when you get caught in the rain you understand hair gets messed up. You're all wet and everything. It's a little uncomfortable. Ah, we shall soon find out if she is real, said the queen. So she went into the bedroom where she laid a pea upon the bedstead. Then she took 20 mattresses and laid them on the pea and then put 20 feather beds on top of the mattresses. Oh, wow. Look at that. She is trying to determine whether this young lady is a real princess by placing a pea in between the mattresses. My oh my. On this, the princess had to lie all night. Look at these beautiful mattresses. Aren't these illustrations beautiful? There she goes. She's getting ready to go to bed. If you're enjoying this story, let Miss V know, everybody. I am. I think it's beautiful. The next morning, the princess asked how she slept. Oh, very badly, said the princess. I scarcely closed my eyes all night. Heaven only knows what was in this bed. But I was lying on something hard. So that I am blue and black all over. Oh, that's horrible, said the king. Something made her bruise and turn blue and black while she slept. Now they knew that she was a real princess because she felt the pee right through the 20 mattresses and the 20 feather beds. How'd she do that, y'all? How'd she do? Would you be able to feel a pee if it was between 20 mattresses? I don't know. Guys, I don't know if I'd be able to feel that. Nobody but a real princess could be as sensitive as that. Oh, well. It's okay. I don't know. I've never tried that before. I've never had 20 mattresses either. Well, they found their real princess. What's going to happen now? So the prince took the princess for his wife. Look, this is their wedding day. The prince and the princess. Look at that. Beautiful. The pea was put in a museum where it may still be seen if no one has stolen it. There, 
That is a true story. The end. You see the peak? It's on top of the elf house. Look at that, right on top. This is gorgeous. The end. Well, that was a wonderful story, you guys. I am so happy that I had a chance to read this with you. The Princess and the Pea is always going to be a classic. My goodness, aren't we glad that the prince found his princess? And that's going to happen to many of you one day. I would love to know if you could share some favorite stories with me. Let Ms. V know. I would love to dedicate some stories to you. I'll leave my contact information, the popcorn kit at gmail.com, but I'm going to write it down at the bottom of the page. You all, I love you all so much, and I'm so thankful that I've met so many fun friends on YouTube. You know, I got to give you a kiss and a hug. Peace and love. Here's my friend. Give me a hug. I'll get to see you guys in a little while. I have more treats for you. I'll see you soon. Take it easy, guys.